Hello, this is Dr. Anil Goody speaking. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine and surgery at the Homet University Hospital in London. Today I'm going to discuss two cases which have been sent to me from across two different countries and I'm going to have a short discussion of how to go ahead. Case number one, ovulation induction planned Thin endometrium on day eight. The questions asked is, should you give Proganova? What is the role of aspirin? And what is the role of Viagra? Next, what should be the timing of IUI? At the center, IUI is done. At 24 and 48 hours, a double IUI is done. Should we be doing it at 12 hours and 36 hours? And question number three, how soon should the IUI be done once the semen preparation is ready? So let's go back to the questions. The thin endometrium always troubles me. There are two types of thin endometrium. One, pathologically thin, and second, pharmacologically thin and the way you differentiate it is that you look at a natural cycle you know if a natural cycle you get a trilamin endometrium it demonstrates that the proliferative nature of the endometrium is retained the failure of demonstrating the proliferative nature of the endometrium itself is one of the largest negative points and those endometrium are very difficult to regenerate Let's get one thing clear, that you cannot generate new cells. Medical science cannot create new things. So let's get that clear. All the drugs possible that we use are a bit useless if you don't get a trilaminar endometrium demonstrating the estrogen effect on the endometrium. So the question is, do you use Proganova? If your endometrial lining shows an early trilamin endometrium, it's worth giving a trial run with Proganova. Again, those of you who come for the course which I lecture in over four days will realize that we, do, we have different ways of increasing the endometrium and often those are based by low dose estrogen therapy and not by high dose estrogen therapy. And that's a completely different lecture which I tend to give. And so I would say, yes, give a small dose of estrogen therapy, see how the endometrium grows. Also, think about what estrogen you're going to give. What is the best estrogen in the body? It is natural estrogen, which in fact nature gives. So if, if nature is not giving you a trilamin endometrium, there's something to be worried about. Do you give Viagra? Do you give aspirin? Again, the evidence is against it. And even though small studies, some studies say that Viagra can be useful, I think looking at all the data, endometrial flow does not seem to adequately improve the endometrial thickness. You may see, you may demonstrate better endometrial blood flow or better uterine blood flow, but does, does, not, does not equate to a better endometrial thickness. Now the next question comes up, what is the timing of IUI? Now what we know is that traditionally we do IUI between 32 and 36 hours. If you look at the large paper being written by my colleague Gulam Bahadur, who lectures very often on this site, it seems that the optimal time of a single IUI is about 30 hours after HCG, which means probably before ovulation. Again, if you look at the optimal size, and there's been good work done on it, it seems that when you give clomiphene, the optimal size should be around 20 millimeter. With gonadotrophins, it seems to be around 18 millimeter. One of the most important things to realize is that Premature LH surge occurs in almost 25 to 30 percent of cases, and that is one of the most important factors we believe that lowers the success rate of IUI. Now, the question we ask is do we need to give an antagonist 
And again, the evidence is not in favor of giving the antagonist. That seems to be one of the factors that lowers our success rate. Next, let's come to single and double IUI. If you look at the Cochrane review, the Cochrane review said, well, there was no use of either using a single IUI or a double IUI. Now, if you look at two studies, there seems to be some difference, but see the timing of the IUI. The IUI, a single was done at 34 hours. The double was done at the first one at 18 to 24 hours and the second one at 36 to 48 hours. And you can see a difference, 11.1 to 19.9%. Also, if you look at another study done, it showed a single IUI of 12.9%. In male factors, 7.9. While in PCOS, again, it increased to 19.5 and 17.5 will main factor. So it seems small studies, but there seems to be some element that single versus double IUI may make a difference. Next is when do you inseminate? Do you inseminate after the preparation is done? You wait for an hour after the preparation is ready? Why is this question important? If you see where, where success rates of IUI tend to go down is when they are done by a third party laboratory, which means that you get some other laboratory to do a sample, you bring that sample back, and that duration is about an hour or two hours, and then you do an insemination. And we know that if you have more than 20 minutes of 120 minutes of waiting, then pregnancy rates are significantly lower. The simple question is, where is the best place to, for the sperm to go? It is inside the uterine cavity. So the general policy is within 15 or 20 minutes of preparing the sperm, it's best that you do the insemination. And it seems that pregnancy rates are much better. That is, in effect, the two, the one case, which gives us an idea about the various aspects around IUI. The take-home message should be on looking at the endometrium. See if you're going to try laminar endometrium. If you are interested, you're more than happy to join the course, which we do twice a year. It's very much an intensive course. And there we, we look at all the various factors and various protocols which would need to be. I hope that you'll be able to share this video. I, if you have any queries, I hope you'll be able to share this video. If you have any queries, please send us an email on fertilitycourses at gmail.com. I will be able to put some of these videos on. Uh, they're also on YouTube and you're more than happy to uh, access them and share them. Thank you very much.